The infrared spectrum tells us about what functional groups are present in a molecule. Here's a carbonyl peak at 1750 wave numbers, and here may be a carbon to oxygen single bond. We're identifying these using the wave number regions given on our data sheet. Around 3000 wave numbers corresponds to a carbon to hydrogen stretching vibration. So we can identify this molecule as being possibly an aldehyde or a ketone, or it might be an ester. Could also be a carboxylic acid, could also be an amide. Identifying is also about noting which absorptions are not present. If this were a carboxylic acid, we'd expect a large broad absorption somewhere in this region. And since there's no broad absorption here, there's no oxygen to hydrogen bond present. And so it's not a carboxylic acid. For an amide, we'd expect an NH stretching vibration somewhere in this region. And that's not present either. So we can also rule out this being an amide. And that's about as far as we can go based on the infrared alone. If we look at this second infrared spectrum, the lack of a peak at 1700 wave numbers suggests no carbon to oxygen double bond, so no carbonyl, but there may well be a carbon to oxygen single bond absorbing at about 1200 wave numbers. The carbon to hydrogen peak is pretty much ubiquitous in all organic molecules. And here we have a large OH stretching, very broad, very characteristic. And this is in the region that the datasheet tells us we should associate with alcohols or phenols. Compare that to the spectrum above, where you've got an OH region shown for where a carboxylic acid would be. So in this case, we can be fairly sure that it's not a carboxylic acid OH, but this is an alcohol or a phenol. And that would correspond with the lack of a carbon to oxygen double bond.